In this video, we're going to walk through the process of activating Adobe Creative Suite 6 software via the offline exception process. We will introduce the workflow, show the exact and specific steps you must take to install and activate your software in an offline environment, and provide additional resources and contact information. For those users seeking to install from a DVD or other native Adobe installer, and who have access to either a volume or retail serial number, but their machine will be permanently offline. They must complete the offline exception process as detailed next. Please note that this workflow is meant for end users who lack an enterprise deployment infrastructure in their organization or who cannot use the Adobe Application Manager Enterprise Edition, also called AMI, to package their installer for distribution. I will share more information about AMI at the end of this presentation. For now, let's look at a diagram of the workflow before we dive into the actual end user experience. When you insert a CS6 DVD, or double click the downloaded native installer from Adobe's website, you'll be prompted to accept the end user license agreement and enter your serial number. For customers who are offline at the time of this double click and accepting, they will be given a prompt as to whether they are temporarily or permanently offline. For those customers permanently offline, they must complete the offline exception process detailed in the screenshots following. In this example, we'll be working with Microsoft Windows operating system, but the process will be identical for those trying to install on Mac OS X. After the end user has double clicked to start installing the software, the end user will be prompted to install or try. In this example, we are going to install with a serial number. Once we click install, we'll be given the end user license agreement to which we must accept. We then provide our serial number, click next, and if our machine is not connected to the internet, we'll be given a prompt to connect to the internet. However, if we cannot at all connect to the internet, we must click the connect later option. And here's where we choose which software we'd like to install. In this example, we're using the CS6 Master Collection Installer to install Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. We would go ahead and click Install. The process would go about installing the software, and the application is now ready for use. Now when I close this dialog and come down to my start prompt to actually open Dreamweaver CS6 for the first time, Instead of receiving the splash screen for Dreamweaver CS6, we receive the serial number validation dialog, which asks us to either connect to the internet in order to validate our serial number, or to click this link that asks for more information about connecting to the internet. When we click on that link, the installer tells us that we are unable to detect an internet connection on the machine, and that the offline activation process must be invoked for machines that are permanently offline. We would click the offline activation process, and a specific set of steps is listed in order to generate a request code. The request code is generated by the system installer itself, and then it must be taken to adobe.com slash go slash get activated and entered into the form field on that website. Once you've entered the request code, into the form field on this website, you will receive what's called a response code. You will bring that response code back to your offline machine, enter that into the form field in the installer, which you're seeing here, click activate, and then you'll be all set. So to start this process off, I will click generate request code. The request code that I'll receive, I will either need to write down or take a screen cap of to enter those specific characters in to the form field. At this point in the process, I would go from my offline machine to an online machine, whether that is another computer, another laptop, a tablet device, a smartphone, or any other type of machine that can get internet access. On that internet connected machine, I would go to that adobe.com slash go slash get activated and be taken right here. I would click generate a response code in order to get the response code to put back into my offline machine installer. So when I click that button, I'm prompted to sign in with my Adobe ID. And this is the Adobe ID that must be linked to the serial number that I've received. In a volume circumstance, 
this Adobe ID must be the same Adobe ID of the person who is linked to that serial number on the licensing website. I would go ahead and sign in. I would type in or paste in my request code and enter my serial number. I would then generate my response code and here is an example of a response code that I could then cut and paste and email to my offline computer or copy by hand onto a piece of paper. Once I've received this response code, I would go from my online machine back over to my completely offline machine. And once I'm finished, I would either paste or type that response code that I received from the online machine into the form field inside of my installer, click the activate button, and I would receive this offline activation complete message telling me that my license has been successfully activated and is ready to use. When I click the launch button, Dreamweaver CS6 will go ahead and start up. So just to recap the offline activation process for permanently offline computers such as this one, the first step after installing and attempting to launch software for the very first time would be to go through the offline request code process. Once the offline request code has been retrieved from the offline computer, the end user will need to go to an online device, whether it's a laptop, tablet, or smartphone, log in with the institutional Adobe ID, or with that end user's Adobe ID, and serial number, enter the request code and the serial number, and receive the response code. This end user would then need to write down that response code come back to the offline computer, enter it into the form field for the installer, and the offline activation process would be complete. If you have attempted all of the steps in this process and are still having difficulties, please reach out to Adobe Online Support at adobe.com support. You can also reach our customer service line seven days a week, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Pacific at the number listed here. For technical support questions, you can reach out to Adobe Technical Support Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific at the number listed here. There are many other deployment resources listed in this page of links, including the Adobe Creative IT page, the Adobe Installation and Licensing blog, the Adobe Enterprise Deployment Twitter feed, the Adobe Enterprise Deployment forum, the Creative Suite in the Enterprise Adobe TV channel, and the new and improved Enterprise IT tools, currently in beta. Thank you for your time and attention.